started because it was pretty heavy. Because um, it's just a lot of stuff to review right now. A lot of this we've been working on, but it's just some stuff we've got to review, and, and that's kind of where we're at. But um, the second thing in your packet there is the rules and procedures that you guys um, talked about and made the changes in Article Seven. Um, Roman, Roman numeral three is where that was added back in so that again at the board's pleasure we could hire in the future if the state of Franklin worker were to go away. Um, where are you? Um, it would be rules and procedures if you'll flip over one, two, okay. three, article seven. The board asked to add, add Roman numeral three in case of the state of Franklin program, since it's a grant program ever closed, that we would be able to hire somebody in the future. So that's the only change on this. And when we go into the meeting, I did bring a copy for us to sign so that we can get that back to Kim and Becky. But I did want you to just see that that's where you guys asked me to add it, and it's back in. No other changes were made to the document. I want to put it if the budget supports it. I just copy pasted from the uh, last document. How would you want it? What's the phraseology that you would like there? If we have any money left over. Well, I can't just add that because it's not proper grammar. <laughs> uh, the so you have to put the statement. Uh, the uh, may, and put may, may hire. In parentheses, okay. if the budget supports, and that's the only change that I, I can see. So I will have this one. We're subject to funding. That works. That be available funding. Mm -hmm. Subject to available funding. Okay. And I'll run it through Grammarly to see which way it likes it best. To available funding. That's <laughs> okay, we'll give you a new one. So when we come back together on that Tuesday, I think that's the 27th for recall, um, we should be able to go ahead and sign it there. And then the next thing is um, the budget. Becky unfortunately cannot be with us today. Um, what I did find out from our previous budget meeting this past Tuesday one of the items that has come up is that originally Graham County employees health depart, uh, health insurance went up 36 percent but they worked at it and they have it down now to 16 percent so with um, it was kind of the board you guys said you were going to kind of follow Graham County's lead as far as a raise and it looks like that raises are going to be in place of um, the increase in health insurance because 16% is quite a lot. And um, I, I, I'm going to probably talk to the county commissioners about maybe some sort of a, the employees because it has to be based on people being unhealthy and our, our claims and stuff being high, but maybe some sort of an employee wellness program. I used to be an athletic director. I might even be able to help lead one of those. We have a wellness program one in place, and it did, and it did reduce the cost of the benefits. Now, there, if there's others that you'd like uh, us to entertain, get them in front of Kim. Yeah, that was gonna because we did some things like that at our gym. She can tell you what what we have in place right now. Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty that. much. Um, so I do have suggested a non-tobacco environment. And I've gotten absolutely nowhere, and that would really reduce the cost. That and also the um, exercising two to three times per week, just mm -hmm. 20 minutes a day. With that's really part of the program that's in place, and how many are doing <coughs> that, though. Okay. Okay. Um, I so, do it. <laughs> yeah, I do, too. I've lost weight doing it. So here's the um, message from Becky. Um, it's not looking good for me to come. I will send the financial highlights early next week. I have attached the budget, which we'll go over in our board meeting, report as I have adjusted it for bills to pay. As of April 2015, you were maintaining well in your budget. There is only 2,834 left in ads and promotions. 
however, to get you to June 30th unless you dip into the contingency. I project 140 to 145,000 in revenues will be safe to budget for 2015-2016, provided that all lodging partners continue to pay timely. I have also attached the spreadsheet through today. I do have two bills which need approval to Clark Communications, which I have included in the encumbrances column on the budget spreadsheet. These are for the Cherahala Skyway and the Roads to Adventure map for a total of $3,085.02, which is above my spending limit. Thanks, Becky. So we'll, um, I guess, have you guys make some motions when we get into the... Did she send a copy of those? I'd like to have a copy of that myself. Of this? Yes. The bills? Yes. Oh. A copy of the bills. I'd like to have a copy they of They said they were attached, but you may not uh, and have the, printed and the I think it, it wasn't an attachment. She just said it was in that column in the budget. If you get more to the back, it's after the minutes. It's almost in the very back, maybe three sheets from the back. Encumbrance column, you'll see it there about halfway down, 3085 and 2 cents. Is that one bill or two? It's two bills. One's for the Cherahala Skyway. Do you know and what the, the breakdown on those was? They were emailed to you because they were uh, printer bids, and those they were the winning bids. Okay, yeah, and I did have a question about one of those, so uh, we'll need to table that until the next meeting, and I'll talk to Becky about it. Okay. Do you anticipate any more advertising and promotional stuff that we're going to need? Is that $2,800 going to cover what? What we have left, the monthly expenses for Marianne and social promotions and web utilities and things of that nature. Okay. Um, the next thing, I just wanted to let you guys know, if you'll look at this sheet right here, this is the impact study sheet, and I'll be continuing these through the rest of next year. Um, I'm going to be looking, like John, when you have a substantial group in at your <coughs> hotel, if you would allow me to come over on what they consider their registration day. Mm -hmm. And depending on the size of your group, we're trying to get you know, a 10 to 20% of the group to fill out one of these sheets. So basically I hand them a packet. It has a welcome letter and an invitation to participate in the study. It has one of these with kind of it marked up so they can see how to do it. And then they're given their blank sheet. So the premise behind this is um, to find out what the group's impacts are, not only on Graham County, but the surrounding counties beside us. This should give us some pretty good data to be able to go forward for Andy Cable as far as things that are needed in the county. Why did these people go? Because this will have a follow-up survey as well. So like we see that you spent money outside the county and such and such. Why did you spend that outside the county instead of in the county? Um, and they might not even know county lines, but it could be it's just because locational. You know, as they were driving around, this is just where they were during lunchtime. It might not be because we didn't have a Japanese restaurant or we didn't have the ability to have a mixed drink um, near the restaurant in town near their hotel. So, um, and also with retail and small tourism businesses, the breakdown of this with entertainment attractions and retail gift, that might give us some more suggestions of th some things that would work here in our county if we do see a lot of people going to other counties for certain things. Um, not just one group, but it's going to be a, a variety of groups that ends up giving us this information when we compound it all together. I did one with the minis. My projection was to pass out 30 packets. We only got about 17 of them passed out. Um, I thought the registration was in the morning and it ended up being that night and I was out of town that night. Um, and then I tried to just, every I was stalking Mini Coopers. My daughter laughed at me. Um, but we, we passed out enough and we've been following up. I've only gotten four sheets back. Sent another follow-up email today to see if I can get any other. So now I know I've got to pass out double the amount of packets to get the information back that I'm going to need. 
It could be that one group of yours, John, I give everybody a packet just so I can get enough back to get the statistical analysis to be correct. But that's an impact study. And um, they're done a lot. North Alabama does these in all of their um, counties up north in their uh, region, North Alabama Lakes region. There are some in the high country. They do some of these impact studies with their groups. Um, Myrtle Beach does these types of studies a lot out there. And this could help us just figure out, even if we can touch every group, um, we might be able to give some coupon sheets to increase some spending here instead of it going out. Because sometimes people, well, I didn't know y'all had a nice cream shop here. One of the things on the menu was to go to Soda Pops in Bryson City, but we have three places here to have ice cream. You have ice cream, uh, the Hub has ice cream, and then the ice cream shop, Nan and Pops. Um, so we just need to let them know that we've got it here. They don't have to go out of town. So anyway, that's a little bit about the impact study. And then that annual partner meet and greet. Did anybody get to take a look at their June schedule that first or second week? Does anybody have a major conflict that you can think about? That just this day is not going to be good because you've got so many people coming in at your lodging. Yeah, we have a big group on the 13th. Okay, I think this meet and greet needs to be earlier than that, so, but you're not good for the 13th, for sure. Yeah. Let me look and see if that's a third of it. <clears throat> yeah, the time that I thought it might work, <laughs> and we need to get the invitations. Well, the 11th, that's, that's actually the day, the 13th is the day we're having a band. Okay. Everybody comes in on 13th. Well, <coughs> Last year, I think we held it like second, third, fourth, which is a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The second week would be the 9th, 10th, 11th, which would be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, so can anybody think of those dates? Does anybody have a conflict with 9th, 10th, 11th? Because the budget at that point has to lay for 10 days, 10 business days. So that's the latest we could probably do it would be that week. You're good. Um, okay. It would be a nighttime event at Stokoa Valley. Um, and I had a couple of other ideas for just to see if the lodging partners are interested. I have a couple of um, my networking friends and my teachers that might be willing to come give a class about how to package your hotel. Like if you work with NOC or Wildwater and get a discount ticket, um, you can either pass that on to your expense, to your um, guests as a concierge type setup, or you can package it, bundle it with your lodging, keep your rates high, and make a little money. So we've got some people that are willing to come teach that, and uh, Marianne would probably be willing to teach some social media stuff. So we could have like a half day learning and then moving right into the meeting for those that are interested because education is key. Well, this is going to be a busy time of year for them. Isn't it? I, mean, mm -hmm. I, I would think just to meet and greet, look over the budget at night might be mm -hmm. as much as we could ask. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when are we talking about? What day? 9th, 10th, 11th. Save those workshops for the winter months. Okay. Are well, you June. good on those? Yeah, mm -hmm. in about a month. Because that will give us enough time to get invitations out. And the tenth would be better for me. The tenth, but for the meet and greet, yeah, we're gonna have meet and greet three days. No, 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 no. We're picking one day. Actually, that's a church night, isn't it? I mean, for a lot of people. Wednesday is, yeah. yeah. So then the ninth. Is the ninth gonna be one of your board meeting uh, commission meetings? Do you know? Can you count? I can count. First and third, yeah. First and third. Mm -hmm. Well, then that would be the second. Is that right? And second and fourth. No, it's the first and third, but it, the ninth Tuesday. is the second. The ninth would be the second one. So you would be good. We'd be good. Okay. Even if you say no. <laughs> okay. So as of right now, we're going to go ahead and say June ninth for the partner meet and greet at Stacoa Valley. Beginning time. I think we did do five uh, last year. <coughs> Maybe we did like a little reception from 4.30 to 5. Yeah, and then like the meeting started. Yeah, they did.
So we'll do a 430 Sorry about that. Um, socialize, socializing and then a 5 o'clock start. Hello. So what time? Okay. 430 socializing and a 5 o'clock meeting That's start. Okay. We bring our own bottle or what? That's good. Yeah. Yeah. We're brewing it. Thank you, honey. Okay. Nice <laughs> make it on, on site. Rev Jim Dunn. Roy. Roy. Look on Jim Dunn. The other thing that you guys asked me to do from the budget meeting, and I just wanted to give you an update on it um, because I've not heard back from anybody, but. Um, I'm leaving tonight for Greensboro for a state track meet. So in the morning, when it's slow for me because Megan doesn't run in the morning, I'm going to go ahead and get in a quiet place to make the phone calls because they should have had enough time to look this stuff over now. But what I did was I conceptually drew what a half-page ad looks like, showed where it could kind of be split and what the percentages and the dollar amounts for each one of the ads is. So this was the half-page ad. and. This was a half page ad with four people. That other one was three people. This is a bigger ad. It's the two thirds page ad shared by four people with the dollar figures or with three people with the dollar figures. And then same kind of uh, setup but with a different kind of um, layout. I shared the rate sheet with those um, three lodging partners. I also shared, this is the digital magazine and I wanted to show them when you hover your mouse over your section of the ad, it turns yellow and it shows your website. So when you pop on it, it clicks and it takes you to the website. The other thing I wanted to show them was um, there is a plus button that you probably saw on the bottom right here. When you click on the plus button, this is something that it's only one pop up. So as uh, the travel and tourism group, unfortunately, I would probably claim this more as my logo, but they would be the ones having their names featured in the content creation for what pops up underneath the logo. And then also because these people are unfamiliar, you guys are more familiar with what the state travel guide is as far as publications and the digital um, views and also the app. I went ahead and gave them those statistical sheets so they would have that data readily available too. The partners that I called on this were Fontana Village Resort and um, they're very new with, they're trying to learn everything so quickly that what Fontana does with their marketing and advertising that based on a few conversations I think they might be a little confused um, because there is some things being done by the Fontana TDA and there's some things done being by um, Anchor South Marketing, the Chatterbox Girls. And so I'm, I'm not sure if they've got a bigger pot of money than what I'm, I'm thinking. I'm starting to think that they might have more money available and they might be duplicating their efforts. So we're gonna close in on that one. The other partner that uh, I called Robert Rankin, personally invited him, he said he'd have to see the numbers, so that's why we invited him. And then the new kids on the block with the Topoca Lodge um, because I know that they have pretty much anything I've sent out there. We'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. And so we go ahead and invite people like that because we know that they're willing and they and then they've got the money to be able to do it. Well now are you gonna go to uh, Fontana's TDA meeting again yes, next Tuesday? Tuesday. Mm -hmm. It's on my calendar as of right now to attend. And you might give it a better sales pitch. Yeah. But you talk to but I have to do a lot of talking because their marketing people are in Georgia and they work yes. remotely. So we do but a lot of talks. thought it would be better for her to talk to the TDA. Well, I, initially, but... There's been things that we have found yeah. out. That's the the TDA is a proven uh, get a request from Anchor South to fund that same ad. So the only way then Tabitha could approach it is that she, if Anchor South's partnering with Grant County on that. And Anchor South, unfortunately, wants to showcase all their properties, not just Montana. So they might not be willing to play this game with me, and that's why I put some of these things in as three partners, not four. Because it could be just if we don't want the ridges in our ad. That's a Hayesville property. So depending on just how it shakes out with exactly what they're looking to do. And the TDA there in Montana will have to approve the ad that they fund. 
so they, if Anchor South wants to do an ad that showcases there, Spontana TDA is not going to approve it. Mm -hmm. Is this making sense now? Mm -hmm. But this is the, just their first year, and it's just going to take them a little bit to iron all this stuff out, and then also with the new general manager. Um, so there's just some things that are having to work their stuff out. But we'll get there, because I'm going to help them along the way. Any questions they have, I'll help them. I don't want anybody to be unsuccessful. We need each and every person to make these numbers go up, and for us to have more money in the pot to be able to promote our destination. So. Um, so that is a little bit of the follow through. I don't have a yes from anybody yet, but the pitch has been put out there and the follow up phone calls will start tomorrow. I should have those answers, I hope, by the end of next week that I can email you guys and let you know this is the option that we'd like to go with and here's how much it costs. Um, the other thing did. Um, some of you, and since Beth isn't here, I can't really ask who she got this from. Uh, again, this I think we covered this at one of those budget workshop meetings. This was the marketing survey from Andy Cable that we did not do correctly, and he asked that we go back in and just mark it and follow the instructions um, and then get it back to Beth so she can get it to Andy. I myself had all kinds of notes online and you know, I added, what about this destination, you know, these different things. So he just wanted us to mark this one up. If you know you didn't get this back yet, it's in your email box. Um, it was probably not last night, but the night before where you got it. So please mark it up. Have somebody on your staff, like, scan it back in and then email it back to me so we can... Okay, so then you're good. If you did it, then you're good. I have just this one. If you know you didn't do it and you want it, I meant to make a few more copies, but just a couple of things on the phone and it throws you in a scatter. Everybody good with that? So that's the surveys. And then um, last thing that I really wanted to kind of cover um, the strategic comprehensive travel and tourism plan that we've been working on for a <coughs> while. They presented that to the Great Tourism and Mountain Culture Committee yesterday. Um, the plan is for a abbreviated presentation to be given at next week's Great Meeting. It's supposed to be a 15 minute presentation. And then um, I wanted to see if you guys were okay with Chris coming to by then he should have the final draft of the tourism plan and to see if he could come present during July's workshop. So not June's because that would be real too soon, but July's workshop meeting if he could come present so that we could make changes and then go forward on working towards the adoption of the plan. Does that sound like a good time frame for everybody? July workshop. Billy? Yes. You okay? Connie? Mm -hmm. You okay? If he comes How long does that take? That's why I'm, I'm asking. Does that need to be during the workshop or during the meeting? We can have it during the time. I think we need to cut this workshop part yeah, of the time. It's sure. summer. We're all busy. Okay. And I am I'm spread no thinner than hot mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm, and, and I'm not even busier than anybody else in this room. You know, I understand that. So, uh, and we, it could be that I we mean, need to get everything summer. compact. We yeah. need to get it done and uh, move on and get it out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm good with that. I think winter time. We know we've got to prepare for the sure. season. There's a lot of back work. Um, so we <coughs> can. And I think in our resolution it said that we didn't have to have the workshop. It was only if we needed it. We don't have to have workshop. Yeah. No. So I think no. we're fine to just go with our board meeting. So we can have them at the if, board meeting. If we need a workshop, we can call a mm -hmm. workshop meeting. Sure. Okay. No workshop, board meeting. And so for June um, 11th, no workshop. Next month's meeting. No. And, and, that is, and that's what we're doing. Yeah. And that's when yeah. we're doing the meet and greet. Okay. If, isn't it? Right. Two days yeah. before. Okay. That's no. why I say we'll have the budget. We'll see enough of each other that week, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. 
All right. Um, let's see if there's anything else. So that June 11th meeting will start at 3? 3. Okay. 3 p.m. And who knows where? <laughs> Uh, Grand County, no, that building's going to be done, isn't it, Connie? <laughs> it's almost finished, yeah. and it does sound so much better. Oh, yeah, just them working uh, on there. I went in better. there and yelled kind of loudly to see what it sounded like, and it didn't knock me back out the door. <laughs> so what good. are they doing there? Awesome. Putting up some acoustic tiles. Yeah. yeah. It's and it looks, like it, it looks like it looks like it's horrible. It's been horrible. You can't, the video, yeah. I have to have the earbuds in my ears to even, and, and, understand what's being said and it's very difficult mm -hmm. yeah. on video and, and being in the room it's extremely difficult I mean you get headaches and everything yeah. trying to listen yeah it's well, been very hard I'm very excited like to hear that doing some sort of a um, putty uh, substance so instead of it being hollow on the other side it will be against the ceiling and even with that little bit of, it's just a little bit of cushion it's going to help even Good. more so I think the way they're applying it too is going to help some also but yeah they had the Top ridge, it looked like just about done. Are they doing these side pieces like this, Connie? I think or is it's just, just the top. Okay. It's just the top. It'll help, for sure. Is there anything else you guys needed to discuss in the workshop? I would add on that uh, impact study, mm -hmm. if you could uh, start sending that and working like with Maria Fontana and mailing that out to the group leader prior to them getting there. Okay. So they know that that's coming and they might even be emailing it to their database and okay. then we might stand a better chance of getting more of those back. Mm -hmm. All right, sounds good. And can we not just leave it with our accommodation partners instead of you trying to be there when they're trying to get checked in, trying to get their mm -hmm. uh, luggage unloaded? We can, but if an accommodation partner is busy and they need me to come be the local hello, welcome to Robbinsville, I don't mind because I'm here to work for them. And I just thought if I could be an extra hand. Have you had anyone um, ask you to do that? Well, this is something that's very new. We've never done impact studies so before. Where, where did you meet the many people? I went over to what I thought was their <laughs> registration at on Tuesday Fontana, at Fontana, Fontana Village Fontana. Resort. And instead of the registration, because that was at evening. night, I just kind of five or six laps around the place. And when I saw somebody, I was like, okay, I've seen them three or four times. They're hanging out. I didn't get anybody that was like in and out. People that were hanging out and kind of shopping and talking, I was like, hi, my name's Tabitha. Have you been here before with the Minis on the Dragon? And it was either a yes or no. Well, you know, I'm the director of travel and tourism. Have you got about five minutes? I'd love to tell you about an opportunity. And it was very easy to pass the packets out, but if you stalk them at their hotel and they're on their way to dinner, that doesn't turn out so well. But um, I think Jenny's uh, got a pretty good idea. Give it to them when they check in. Yep. And then that other places that hold groups like John and the Gleanings and Blue Boar, uh, Blue um, yeah, Blue Boar, um, Smoky Mountain Mansion, a few of those like more group places. I think that's what I need to do. I, I know if I were checking in, I'd rather just have it in a packet that they give me at the desk right. and have somebody come and talk to me. Yeah. And I might be no, the I'd odd use one. I'd use it to build a car with outside later on, you know, that's it. Well, when I'm on vacation. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because when, when you go, when check, when you go check, check in the motel, when you get the packets over, do you really fill them out mm. in your okay. motel room? I'll, I'll just leave mine laying there, I'll put it in the trash or whatever, you know, too. I'm going to have to talk to you about that. Me. I feel mine out. Do you? But they'll read it. <laughs> 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 See, when I go to the thing but and you, I get a packet, that's the, I get my room, I lay it all out, and <laughs> make sure that, you know, I'm going to be where I'm supposed to be. And Well, that's so, the difference. You know, yeah. a lot of people don't. You know, first, hey, you put my stuff in there, pack it up, you know, where nobody get to it, then, then do what I want to, you know, that's it. Jeannie, what do you do when you go? Uh, I usually look at for making over. I'm like, for I just go to the beach. But yeah. um, I, I do think that some, you probably got to, if you give out 100, you might get, if you get 10 back, that's yeah. usually our mm -hmm. ratio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you, you know, and doing it in a digital form would be less expensive if you, you please even list your database. Right. And they can do that without giving us the database to do it with. Okay. So I might, on my cover letter, need to do a little bit better job of explaining the purpose of what that's what I usually do verbally. Yeah. Um, and then you could also even, I think that, you know, Fontana would be willing to maybe just email them after checkout, you know, mm -hmm. with that form and say, 
you know, you're in North Graham County, they're asking you to do this. So that's possible. That can be done that way okay. if you've got the, you know, set up to do it with. Would there be any way we could just get the email from Fontana and let her send the email? We can't. Mm -mm. We can't give you our database, or we'll yeah, right. just give you their name to you know, send But Marie it, can but do a lot of that stuff. Yeah, she could send it out, or mm -hmm. the group leader could send it out after checkout or something. I forgot. I forgot what Tori was going to say. I was listening to you, Tori. <laughs> what you I was going to. Uh, I was going to ask you something about that. Uh, Turn the camera around. <sighs> <laughs> no, go on, go on, I'm sorry. It'll come back to you. I was listening to you and I lost it. See, I'm a good listener. <laughs> a lot of people do that when we talk. <laughs> when you find it, mine's probably right beside it. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. Bring on. I hate that. Well, I hear you <sighs> All right, that, that's, some, that's, that's good stuff because, again, I think it's a really low percentage of turn-in rate. As well. I got it. it. Yeah, I got <laughs> it. Did you ask the partners that are handing out these surveys, I don't know, whether or not they might be willing to give like a discount for filling out the surveys? Yeah, might be. You know, because you really want these. Yeah, you I mean, need you really, I mean, don't you? I mean, it, it depends on how much you really want the surveys one, back. It's but, all about what's in it for them. Yeah, yeah I mean, it is. Say, hey, if you'll, if you'll fill this out Maybe. and pass it, it will give you a discount for but next time you come. Or, on this one, I did offer a $50 did, gift card, and I said, as of right now, you see how many people are on here, so. Well, make sure if, if you just put it in the packets. That that's really highlighted because, like you said, some people will just quickly look through mm -hmm. it, some people read through it, but if it's very visible that you're going to give some kind of money, yeah. they might pick it up more and look at it more, you know. So if you're putting it just in a generic package, right, other than saying something but to highlight them. it or maybe mm -hmm. even make it a separate thing where it looks like a gift certificate yeah. stuck in there or attached Because most digital. people look at the coupons. They may not look mm -hmm. at stuff, but they'll look at, oh, what can I get some money off of, mm -hmm. you know. Since oh, yeah. Billy's not here, I suggest that we just give out a free steak dinner at Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> that works too. That works too. Well, I, 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 oh, but, but, sorry. I, but, the thing, but the thing about it is, it's like going to the mall with a car. It's, How many people fill out them slips and put them in there to win that car? They just walk right by. Well, and, and I mean, most, time, time, when, by, most you know. time when you check out yeah. on your receipt that's this long, right. you'll get a thing that says if you'll go in when and take this survey, yeah. you'll be entered. Yeah. For a chance and to win, win. three thousand dollars, uh -huh. and, and, and some yeah. do and some yeah. don't. But I make my daughter do it every time, everywhere we go, because she's the kid. I'm like, fill it out. Somebody's <laughs> got to win. It might as well be us. How many people you take the post office with you when you get? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I, with my email, I can tell that it does get in a little bit of junk. But yeah. that's okay. Three thousand. When you fit, when you put your name and address on something, look at. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that was my New Year's resolution was to clean up my inbox and, and get rid of a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you can't look at anything on my job. Give your email. Yeah. Harold, that's why I've been putting your name on. I've got a few more than her. <laughs> That's some good thoughts. Is there anything else as you kind of looked? Well, here we go. Um, in your packet, this is the House bill for our legislation that the board wanted us to come under compliance with the updated occupancy tax statute. So this is the <coughs> legislation. It has already passed through the House and it is working its way over, I'd say, to the Senate at this point. So I did want to give you a copy to read over it, but um, like Becky and Greg told me on the phone earlier today, even if we wanted to change it, um, I think it was Mr. West, isn't he the one that's representing this? Right. Yes. Uh -huh. The occupancy tax wording is the occupancy tax wording. It was done at the state level. You cannot make any changes to it. You either comply or you stay underneath what you're underneath. So, um, but this does put us in compliance with where the state is looking to go with occupancy tax. So, through the House and to the Senate. It's just 3% on the first 500,000 and then 1% after that. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, unless you, like, um, Swain County has an additional one percent that they collect and they have it set up you know it's a third 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 to go to very designated pots 
once it's over 3%. I think you have to kind of designate what you're going to do with your funds. Um, yeah, it is restricted spending, John. Mm -hmm. So as you're looking through that, anything else we need to discuss before we can uh, <coughs> go into the board meeting? Let me ask you something around section two over says it's got all of the lodging accommodation furnished by hotel motel. Where, where where are you at? Section in the two house bill? I'm on the house bill. Okay. Well what's this tourist camp? What's this what? Tourist camp. Tourist well, I mean, camp. give me a definition of what I mean, what's that mean right there, the tourist camp? It's probably something like uh, camping in general, whether it's private or public or um, camp, that would make me think. Are we charging for camping too? If, That's what I'm going to ask you. Well, camping, if you give any type of a structure, then you charge. That's true. If it has a roof and walls, then they have to charge and they have to collect. So like, for instance, I'm going to be checking with Stokoa RV and T-Berry Hill because if they have like a RV um, hey Sam, come on over if you like. There's some things over there in the chair if you'd like to pick them up. Um, there's some RVs that seem like they're underneath a, well I want to know does that just come with the spot or are they renting that? Because if they're renting that then she has to start collecting occupancy tax on it. But just for tent sites, no, you don't collect occupancy tax on that. We learned that in last April's tax webinar that we went to. But I would say with it saying tourist camp, I think of Whisper Mountain out there as like it could be a tourist camp, but they're church. So but if there was anything like that, that they weren't church related, they get exempt. Um, that's what I'm thinking, <coughs> tourist camp. But like the yurt experience or glamping. Yeah, but if you had a camp where you charge people to come in, you know, Anything that you charge sales tax on, you can charge the authors and sales tax on. Yeah, that's why we have a lot of non Okay, I just, I just asked, I just want to get that clarified, yeah. Yeah. Anything else from There, uh, you have a campground near you. It's the kickstand, right? And they they just I don't know. Do they set up tents or how do they how do they camp there? They have tents. They have a couple little Bunch shacks houses. that they you okay. know, have a bed in, which I think they're supposed to pay they are. three percent on. But not, do they? No, the letters going out. Yeah. Well, they also serve food. And they're not licensed. They sell up beer. I'll get right over there. I'll I know. Too. <laughs> <laughs> right too. I'm fucking. How can they sell food though? I, well, well, it's all donation. Yeah. They circumvent the rules and regulations of. But I think even at this know, point, with the food truck <laughs> legislation so that went through, I don't think they can get away with that. It's at a. It's mm -hmm. at a, well, a business. They, you know, they threaten to shoot you if you come on the property. So. I think Jacob know. and Chad might need to make a trip. Chad's no longer there. there. He's no longer here. Oh, well, but he remember that, down with a, like I, a I, that department needs to go over there because that doesn't sound, mm -hmm. I, 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 those are our yes that are in danger. I, I, I don't yeah, they're not, they're not they're they're parent food under, you know, uh, any kind of regulations. Any kind of regulations whatsoever. And, you know, it's it's all bogus, but people have turned a you know, blind eye to it. You know. Well, it, I brought that up because last year, I was speaking to um, a motorcycle rider, and just like I do with all of them, how'd you find us? And uh, word of mouth. But he stays five months a year over there. And uh, that um, rigs of occupancy tax. Stay over 90 days, you're going to pay for it. Mm. Mm -hmm. And maybe staying in one of the shacks. I don't know. I haven't been. I haven't been in that facility. Um, no, me neither. I know they've got some permanent structures that they Bunk also houses. rent out. 
and they need to be collecting on the bunk houses. They should. Yeah. Because that, I mean, I think they think they're a campground, and so that's how they're going to get away with it. But, I, I, you know, since we learned this in April, um, there just needs to be some more education. I might have to make an on-site visit. Yeah. Yeah. Take back up. Mm -hmm. I always do. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, the serving of the food as a donut, I don't know. So I'll, um... Mm -hmm. And you said serving alcohol too, huh? No, well, it's all donation. You know, donation. Yeah. It's from food by the cup. Well, it's not alcohol, it's beer, I think, but it might be more. I don't know. I've not been down there. Um, we have a few guests that have stayed there and kind of tell us a little bit about what's going on. But, you know, for the most part, it's like right on the border, and it's probably not sanctioned by any, you know, health, health there. Okay. Housing regulation. Well, thank you for the update on that. Anything else? Madam Chair? I've got three o'clock. Okay. We'll uh, call the order to meet. Too much about alcohol, they're saying. I'll work. <laughs> You're providing, I'm ordering. You can tell I'm a cheap day. <laughs> Talk about it, go crazy. <laughs> My kind of woman. Talk about it, Dallas. Where are we going to get you? <laughs> Talk about the other one. Don't swallow. Is that camera? <laughs> Okay. Uh, you want to start over? We'll start all over again. I'll cut it. Start over. Meeting right in the gutter. That's right. Uh, <laughs> meeting is called to order. Uh, do I hear a motion to approve the minutes for the last meeting? I'll make a motion. I'll say it. All in favor? Okay, do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. You hear a second? Second. All in favor? Okay. Do you want to make any comment on the financial report? Tabitha. Um, for this board meeting, I think it's important again to read from Becky's um, email that she sent to me. Um, the budget report by department, current period, April 1st through the 30th. Um, in the fourth column over under encumbrance, we do have two bills uh, that need approval for Clark Communications. Um, that is two separate bills, one for the printing of the Cherahala Skyway and one for a second printing of the Roads to Adventure map. Uh, those two bills total $3,085.02. Um, right. Other than that, the regular spending limits for our social media, um, ha I think is every, she's given a projection. Let's see, where's this at? that we're remaining well into budget and there is 2,834 left in ads and promotion to get us through June 30th, which I mentioned to Ravonda that should be um, good for getting us with Marianne and the other web utilities that we have. That was the Chero Halo for sure and the Roads to Adventure? And the Roads to Adventure maps. Those are the ones that are kind of all over town at all right. the lodging, restaurants and gas <coughs> stations and other TDAs in the area as well. Okay, and I asked to have that approval table until we get a copy of those okay. bids and bills. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to point out on this, if you look at that first column and the budgeted expenditure, she's got us at a budget of 148000 I see that, yeah. That's 3000 that, yeah. that we're not budgeting in here. Right. Well, that's the reason why we, remember at the last budget meeting, I said we might be able to go to 140 or 145 depending on the projection, and so that's what she wrote. Well, 145, I that's what we've been doing. Right. I think some of that was carry forward <laughs> monies that got brought over. Mm -hmm. And also, don't forget, um, there was an ad that we had to pull forward 
yeah, or the contingency the from last is, year? Look at the top line, it's 130000 mm -hmm. And we had an estimated fund balance of the 15000 mm -hmm. that was a contingency. So where do you get the 148 here? I'm not yeah. saying that. I don't know. Well, she was going to. And I'm assuming yeah, that's working. Because had a carryover, yeah. Well, well the last carryover was the 15, right? Okay. 15 that's on here. The estimated 15. fund balance. That was the carryover from right. last year, right? Like to my knowledge, yes. So, But we did have to dip into that to pay a bill. <laughs> Because the audit, the audit had already happened and it had already closed, and then a bill came in from the previous year. There's an increase in the occupancy tax. And right. She talked about that. Been, yep. um, uh, well, she did for these people. They become compliant. And that, you know, there were some things are only privy to the board. There were a handful of some of our lodging partners that weren't paying on time. And one of the things she did say here as long as everybody continues to pay on a timely basis, we should be able to budget with 140, 145. Okay. And that trend. Sure she gets 148. Okay. We can always ask. Mm -hmm. We'll get that clear. Yeah. Because 3,000 mm -hmm. dollars. Yeah, 30 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other comments about the financial report? Overall, the budget's uh, tracking very well. Uh, the ideal remaining 70% and we're at 22. So we're good there. Any other questions? And we will get clarity on the 148,000 and we'll talk about it at the next meeting. Well, okay. mm -hmm. Or I'll give you a call. All right. Do we have anyone signed up for public comment? We do. All right. Come down right. on this end if you don't mind. Right. We just hope she remembers what she wants to talk about. I wrote it down. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it down. Um, well, first, I just want to say I'm really glad to hear about um, the decision to have Mr. Chris Kavanaugh come at uh, your July meeting to do the presentation because my comment is that um, I just wanted to make a statement to notify the board that even though the Graham County Comprehensive Strategic Tourism Planning Grant is funded through federal monies, and even though matching funds were donated by several government entities, and even though Graham County Travel and Tourism and its accommodation partners have requested it for the owners that are out of town and cannot make the meetings, and even though this comprehensive strategic tourism plan is intended to be a county-wide plan, instead of just for the nonprofit great, my request to film the final draft presentation at the next great meeting has been denied. I want you all to know that. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Mm -hmm. As have all the meetings. I have never been right. allowed to film. I got meetings. you in one. One of the tourism planning meetings. Yes. Well, maybe those meetings are not so great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. the, um, the meetings were structured, there were six of them. The first five were to get, he was very quiet and he facilitated gathering information from everybody. But the sixth meeting is where I had, when I sent out the invitation reminder for the meeting, I had two of our partners from in Florida that asked if there was any way I could take the meeting because they were not going to be able to get up here. Somebody manages their home up here. They have a vested interest in Graham County. This is where they want to retire. That will be their retirement house, but currently they're renting it. And I smirked, and I said, sure. And I asked Chris Cavanaugh if I could take <coughs> him with his first feedback to us. I've gathered all the information. Here's my report, regurgitation, how it comes. I asked Lisa if she would like to film. She said she could. I knew Great's policy. policy and desire to not take the meeting, but because it's our occupancy tax money and because of something that Donna Cody said to me, that these are public monies. Somebody wants to and see public something. meetings. They do. The meetings. Great is a non-profit organization. Yeah. They do not follow under okay. the open government laws. So because Donna said that, I 
took a line from somebody on this board that told me ask for forgiveness, not for permission, because I had two policy, two um, policy holders, lodging accommodation partners that requested, and I do have the emails as backup. Could I take that? If I would have taped it instead of asking Lisa, then I really wouldn't have paid attention to the meeting that much myself. And I feel like at that point, I really needed to pay attention at the meeting. So that's why I asked her. Otherwise, I could have asked for Stacoa's camera and done it myself. But I did let Chris know, the speaker, and he said he was okay with that. And um, I did ask for forgiveness. I was forgiven. Um, but I don't think we'll be able to. Hello, Marianne. Hello. Come on over, Red Rover. Um, I, I, um, so at this point, I didn't know the future of the meetings, but Lisa just informed you of what's going to happen. So the board, I think what she's asking, if you would like to be able to take these meetings, see if you could please help her. And help her I'm just letting partners. you know that you can what the Graham County them. Travel and Tourism is, is you know, the, for. Yes, there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, any other public comment? Yes, uh, interesting. What's up? Did uh, you sign up? No, no ma'am, just Lisa. Okay. All right, well, then we'll go to the director's report. Ms. Tavidel? Okay. They are in the Silva Hospital, by the way. Okay. Um, so upcoming meetings that I will be attending during the next month. Um, just to let you know, I did finish the grant writing class given by Tri-County Community College. That was a three-week course on Tuesdays for three hours a night. So nine hours of training on that. And now I understand why my last grant did not get funded and not go through. Um, and um, made a great networking partner out of the teacher. This is Rhonda Bertha. Uh, Connie, she knows you very well and spoke very highly of you. And um, so, you know, I have somebody that will do a freebie for me every so often, but if it's something more intense, she does charge $35 an hour to look over grants before they get submitted. I don't think we'll have to use that. I think we have some grant writers that are fairly good at what they do here in the county. We shouldn't need that. But if we ever did, because people get busy and you might have thought somebody would be able to look over something, and sometimes they just can't. They're already pushed to the limit. So I did, I did make a, a contact there. Um, I did speak. Um, I was the speaker at the women's luncheon, the women's club luncheon over at Stokoa Valley. Uh, they have about 24 members. I think we had 14 present for this meeting. And I was able to share well over an hour um, of, and lots of questions from them, a lot of back and forth about what travel and tourism is doing and um, I think I have some new volunteers for some projects that we've got going on as well so that went over very well and it was followed by the um, tourism and mountain committee presentation with Chris Cavanaugh <laughs> on the 19th I'm planning on going to the Fontana travel and tourism meeting on the 21st, I'll be giving travel and tourism updates at the great meeting that's at Stokoa Valley. If anybody would like to come, lunch starts at 11.30 and the meeting starts at 12. If you would like to have lunch, you have to RSVP by tomorrow. On the 28th and 29th, um, I sent an email out to all of my motorcycle lodging partners that the state of North Carolina was hosting a motorcycle blogger um, and he's so he's a vetted media person. Um, I heard back that Topoka Lodge would be willing to give him free room and free uh, dinner, breakfast, and lunch. So they will be hosting him on the 29th, 28th, and 29th of this month. Um, upcoming events this weekend is a Chiowa River release weekend, so that'll bring a lot of traffic through the. Uh, through our little river valley there, as well as the end of the month, 30th and 31st, which is hitting a nice Memorial weekend. So the two things just paired together should give us some really high occupancy numbers for that weekend. There's lots of lodges that have in-house events. I think um, 
Fontana starts some music out on the Wildwood Grill patio, if I'm not mistaken. Don't you guys have like a whole mm -hmm. list on your website of all the different groups that are going to be singing? Um, I know Synchronous Fireflies are a big thing that's coming up. Um, Snowbird Lodge has a week dedicated to that where they bring in their partner. Uh, Kim Hange, many of you guys know her. Um, she is making herself available to some of the lodges and some of the larger hotel groups to be a leader of hikes and um, edibles. She is having a class at Stokoa Valley about violets and is going to be making a violet salad. Uh, she's also d already done a couple of wildlife walks for Tacoma Lodge. And she has her own company now, so you can contract directly with her. The partners of Joyce Kilmers, uh, they have numerous hikes going on. Those are all listed on our website. May begins um, the Fontana Village Resort's uh, month-long history focus on a time to remember, which looks back about the whole um, towns around Fontana Dam, their closure, the building of the dam, all the way through this whole road to nowhere. It's, it's a focus on all the history um, of that. There's many shuttle rides that go across into the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I know for sure they take place on Wednesdays, but if any of your guests would like to take um, an extra tour, maybe not on a Wednesday, they can call and make reservations with the marina to set up that four-hour excursion to the other side of the lake. I will mention that mm -hmm. we had a, um, a meeting at, at Stacol Valley Center this morning. We had the, the Western Carolina Leadership Group from Western Carolina University, mm -hmm. and in, they will be touring the, a lot of the county by bus today and ending up at Tacoma Lodge. And they were going out, I think, by Joyce Kilmer and, and just to see some of the things that we do have going on here. And we're really looking forward to becoming uh, more familiar with them as a partner in our enterprises here. So was that a county commissioner, Stacoa Valley? What, who was the lead? <coughs> who was the lead on that? Andy was. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Economic development. Yeah, Teresa was okay. there. Teresa was there. Okay. Teresa Garland. Okay. In the, uh, their, today their focus was on economic development. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think Teresa, she holds like a double town position. She's kind of their economic planner as well as their event coordinator uh, for the town of Robbinsville. Okay. Um, there are tons of car and motorcycle clubs that are going to be here this month. This weekend you'll see a lot of Camaros in town. I did make note of that. And uh, the Honda Shadows are going to be another group that you'll kind of see around town. But again, um, Nancy's been kind enough on the events section on the Graham County Travel website. It does list all the different car and motorcycle clubs that she has. Tail of the Dragon, she shared it onto our site. So. Um, the 21st is that Fun with Violets class given by Kim Hange at Stacoa Valley Center. And then the 30th, the partners of Joyce Kilmer are having their second annual yard, yard art sale. Um, I've already got some pictures on there and a couple of posts. We'll be playing with that. And then the 31st, um, the Xterra Sali Triathlon will be happening. And I'm currently, right now, they did not have a place for check-in or for nightlife. And so I've been trying to work with that Florida group to see if we can get them over at the Slick Rock Grill at Topoca Lodge for their check-in and their nightlife activity. So wish us luck, because that would introduce that group to a place that they can stay that's you know fairly close, um, and we might be able to compete for a little bit of business away from Bryson City with that pairing. Um, and then the hill climb, um, things as far as planning are still going forward, but from what I still understand, the permit has not been approved. So, um, do you know where the hold up is there? Yes, I do. Okay, well, let me know. Okay, yeah, we don't want to let that fall to the ground, mm -hmm. so we'll pick up the mantle if we have to. Well, this is something that we can't fix. This is an organizational thing that they must do, and if they will not do, they will not be given a permit. You have to do your permitting paperwork. If you don't turn it in, if you don't give them what they want, they will not approve you. So it's not just the event. It's in house, though. The, mm -hmm. one of the guys with the, the racing themselves. You but said it, not me. Well, I'm just repeating what you said. I'm oh, yeah. Yeah. 
And I'm trying to say things because, again, I don't want to poke at anybody. That is it they, the same contact person? No. No. That contact person yes. is no longer involved because of some of the stuff from what I understand. Okay. Um, networkings. Um, I did work a lot with the other TDAs on getting their budgets this past month, as you know, because I shared some of those budgets with you guys on the things that they are doing. As far as uh, the local industry relations, um, which Pub Lodge helping with Blogger, the Snowbird Mountain Lodge is giving me a contact for their, as their birding expert. He It sells out, I think um, Robert said three weeks per year of birding, um, his lodge is booked because of this guy and he's out of Asheville. So he is helping make that um, introduction for me. <coughs> So in hopes that he might help us design a birding itinerary that can be passed out at any one of the lodges as an extra activity for people to do and kind of give them a you know, travel time to this place here, spend X amount of time, go to have your lunch, then go to here and kind of make out a planned itinerary for people. Um, I have been talking with Chatterbox and the other folks about the state travel guide. Um, I had a couple of lodging partners, just so you know, I'm trying to be real honest about this stuff, that were a little upset about the maps and not having any and our, our inability to have some of these during the winter time, they were a little sore at me. So I personally delivered when we did get the maps, I personally took them out to their locations, apologized, told them if they needed some in the future that I'd be willing to make another trip. So um, hopefully that has uh, appeased them a little bit. And then in regards to that motorcycle blogger, the conversation came up that I shared with them. Um, I knew Jasper's was number one in Western North Carolina, but when you go to TripAdvisor, the phraseology that you use is Jasper's is number one in the Great Smoky Mountains of North Carolina. Over 2,800 restaurants in Jasper's is number one. When the Department of Commerce, uh, well no, the Economic Partnership of North Carolina heard this, they asked for me to get the resumes of the chef and the culinary team from Tepoc Lodge. Went ahead and took that <laughs> step further. I've asked for the chef and culinary teams from Joey at Fontana Village Resort. I've asked Robert to get together his resumes as well. And I even reached out to Maury at Blue Waters Mountain Lodge to invite her to get her resumes together for her culinary team. And we will forward these to the state because then they are going to send it to their ad agency in New York City. DCI is the uh, ad agency up in New York City. And they like to have these things on file for when people are looking for new stories. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, oh my gosh, you know, just taking that little extra in the, in the conversation. And I just really feel like that could be a potential greatness for us sometime for this next year. Um, product development. Promos are slow going just because of <coughs> capacity issues with me being one person. Um, we have been doing a lot of update on ad creation, some of the, like the Yes Quest ads and um, some of these things. Marianne graciously working alongside of me to be sure that we get the right kind of content creation and the look to make people click and activate on those ads. Um, Kathy continues to help Teresa Garland with the door, flies, door prize collection. And currently, right now, in talking with Chris Cavanaugh, there's going to be some of these quick wins that we can do in the travel and tourism plan um, that it's going to take a little bit of prep work. So what Kathy's doing for, I'd say, two or three hours of her day, she has project worksheets for birding, kayaking, uh, flower fauna, hiking, motorcycling, all our different activities, and she is Googling clubs and she's creating an organic database. That way, if this is the latest and greatest stuff out there, and we're creating it ourselves, and we're gonna be able to upload these things into um, our constant contact and be able to send out, when we get the itineraries done, very um, niche marketing, very selected newsletters out to these kind of groups, which hopefully, I mean, it might not do too much this year. Hopefully, we'll have some of it done by fall. Um, but it'll so definitely help for next year. Marshall McCormick would be a good resource for mm -hmm. some of those. Especially for 
like as a guide or somebody able to tell me the clubs? To tell, no, to tell you where to go to find Oh, yeah. Kinds of things. Yeah, yeah. He's one of the ones on my list. Like when John and I were talking about, you know, he's, <coughs> I, I will be asking John to help me make up a motorcycle itinerary. Mm -hmm. And I did find a couple from a few destinations that are motorcycle destinations as well. They have these itineraries. So I was going to show you what they made and just let you kind of pencil next to what theirs is and then I, we can put it together. Mm -hmm. But you should be able to just, you know, pin it out based on what they're doing. But yeah, he's one of the ones on the list for um, history because we're going to improve that um, itinerary. It's got five things on it right now. He knows a whole lot more stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, also, you know, a potential step on the bus guide like we talked about with Lamar at the last meeting being one of the step-on-the-bus tour charter kind of um, leaders. And then, just in time, um, I'm going to go ahead and let Mary Ann um, give her social media report. And after she's done, we'll go over the last two stat sheets um, there. And that's it for my director's report. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome, Thank welcome. You. It's good to be here. Um, I wanted to introduce Channing Lovett. She's my assistant. She's a student at Western Carolina University in marketing and public relations. And she's been working for me part time for a few months, and now this summer I get her full time. Are so. you a senior this year or are you a junior? Yeah, I'll be graduating in December. So in I'm December? Kind of, I'm kind of like a super senior. Okay. <laughs> super senior. Yeah, I like that place. <laughs> so on the way here today, we stopped at Stokoa Valley Center so she could see, and she had no idea. Okay. So this is this is really good. So we toured and took some pictures. Where are you originally from? Florida, but I've lived in Silva probably since I was like nine. So okay. I've been here a while. Yeah. Just haven't been out this way. Mm -hmm. In that long time. Yeah. Lived in Silva and never come over here. But I can say the same about me staying here and being a hermit and not getting out very much myself. So, Well, I've been talking to her a lot about everything that you have here because, like me, when I first was introduced to your county and um, Nancy was taking me out and you were taking me out, and I was just like, you know, shocked. And then, so I'm doing the same thing to, to Channing. So when we leave here today, we're going to probably stop by Iron Horse just so she can see because it's kind of on our way back to Jackson County. But I want to get her back out here a couple more times and maybe do some hikes. And Nancy's off, or she says, anytime you guys want to come out for a hike, she said she would take us. So I want her to see, you know, other parts of the county and Fontana Dam and some of the other things going on in other corners, Snowbird Lodge and Tupper Lodge and um, <coughs> the two wheel in. And as we get into August, because um, sometimes that's just a weird month depending on the weather. Mm -hmm. If you girls need to spend the night one night um, to do some tours and things of that nature, we'll see what we can do. Oh, that would be great. let me know. That would be great. Okay. That would really help. So I'm going to pass out the uh, social media report. And on the front is basically the numbers. And this report is for, or actually through April. Just take one pass around. And then on the back side is um, our top, uh, it just pictures of our top two posts during the month of April, and one of them was the promoted post that we did, which was about dream rides in the uh, in Graham County and the different roads that we have, and um, so we saw a substantial increase in visits to our website on that one. So, um, Facebook, of course, I'm going to keep on for myself to talk from. There you go. Thank you. So the Facebook ad campaign in April um, performed very, very well. We picked up nearly 700 new fans from ads. And I've been talking with Tabitha this month because, unfortunately, I saw a decline in the month of May. So I'm working on that, put some extra time into getting that back up. And some of that was based on that new algorithm and things that they put out there. It kind of... And there's this new thing called a relevancy score, and our relevancy scores are high. And what that means is that when people look at our ads and then go look at the Facebook page, they match up. So what we're advertising that we have and what we have are relevant. So I'm, I'm working it. Okay. And I'll stay in touch with you on that because I'm not seeing it anywhere else. So I'm not sure what happened. You would think that when you give Facebook $4 a day, usually whatever you give them, they spend. And they're not spending it right now. 
So um, I'll, I, I'm going to be pushing those dollars more into May so that you know make, we make sure that they all all get used. But um, I'm just letting I'm working through Tabitha to just make sure that I get that back up to where it's been performing because it has been performing very well. Um, everything else doing very well. Instagram continues to grow. Of course, it's a small number of followers, but we just see a lot of interaction on that. And that's one of the channels that Channing helps me with is Instagram. So when we were over at Stokoa Valley, she was taking Instagram pictures while I was taking Facebook pictures. So she's kind of trying to pick up that end because she does the hashtag research. Instagram's a lot about hashtags and it's, it's a lot about younger a younger demographic and so she's all about that so I kind of let her take the Instagram and and do with it what she thinks would be most appealing to get the younger maybe outdoor adventure crowd here and also um, in talking to Beth because I'm not doing social media for Sequoia Valley Center you know she's trying to bring in a younger demographic so I think by getting Channing involved and interested in that we can make that like I said, I just took copies of the top two posts for April, um, and they both have to do with motor tourism. No surprise there. Um, I'm also going to pass around. These are the last couple of ads we did, and I didn't know if you had passed these around, but this is kind of the new uh, look that we're going we'll just for. Go down. I think this one, was this one the Graham County? That was the one that's coming from Ravonda. That's going to be the I Love Graham County ad that was in that publication. And the one that's coming down this side is very similar in look, um, and it is the Guest Quest ad for this uh, summer quarter. So we're just trying to show some continuity in how we put ads out there, whatever they may be for, um, and just trying to use some common terminology, um, like you'll love what we. What did I put on there? You'll love, love what we. You. You'll love where we take you because we're trying to, again, pull in the motor tourism along with the outdoor activities, the hiking and the trails and things like that. So um, I think that's a good way to go. I'm trying to get as image centric as we can. Of course, the smaller ad that's going around, there wasn't a whole lot of room to put a lot of images, but um, the larger ad, you could get a lot of images out there. People like to see images and they like to see images of people experiencing things. No motorcycles on there. We had two of those looking. <laughs> I don't know what bird watch you do. Keep your motorcycles on this the second highest post. Yeah, all the anytime you put out a video with the Cherhala Skyway or the Tail of the Dragon or Moonshiner Twenty Eight, um, it always it, it, and it's because people like um, what's it called again, John? America's map, America's ride maps, or Ride America maps. Mm -hmm. He shares. And there's, there's a couple of other motorcycle groups that get our, it's, we're in their news feed. Even like the, like the, like for instance, the mini skirts. Yeah. You could probably. Like, so they'll share. they share. Whenever share. we put a mini out there, they'll share it. And so that, yeah. so when you get some of those groups with big followers, you get some big numbers. Yeah. So how it's often, always exciting. How often does this, I know it's like a, your DJ. Yeah. Uh, how often do you get uh, five to seven thousand? You know, uh, we have lots of three to four thousand. Mm -hmm. A lot of those. But five to seven thousand, that's kind of when we yeah. have to boost a post to get uh, those kind so of numbers. And, and it looks like this is half and half, so the bottom one's not boosted at all. Though. That just no. came from, that was that's natural. just our right? mm -hmm. And like the America Shot uh, Ride Maps, he shared that one, and I think maybe America Spirit TV, which is Tim with the motorcycle show, he's been here and done some television. He shared it, and there's some people that are sharing. They shared, remember the, the two wheel in posts where they had gotten that award for. Was that 27,000 people? Yeah, it was, it was, I think it was 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 seconds. The reach on that because America Ride Maps had shared it, and their fans had picked and it up. And number, shared they're it. number one on that trip advisor. Trip advisor. Thing. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so budget, yeah, budget the feature was that they had won some kind of a triple TripAdvisor award, but I don't think that's really why people were sharing it. I no. think they were sharing it because it was unique accommodations, and the picture with the garage. showed somebody standing in the, in the doorway with their motorcycle in the garage, and it was really an impressive picture. I think that's why I got here. So there's a lot of publicity on that. 
and that wasn't even boosted. <laughs> that was just organic. So, um, you got the mint juice on uh, home. Yes, I did. That's all I have. Do you have any questions? Blue pen. And that's going to come down from Ravon if you'll sign all three copies, please. I don't think so. Okay. Thank you very much. You have to change that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. And there's just two copies of this. Yeah. I only need two now because digitally I'm just scanning them in. Okay. Um, oh. Let's do it. We have a marketing committee reporter. Was that it? Um, no, Beth would have probably told even some more about the planning, but that has to be skipped for now. And, okay. um, and since Ravonda is leaving, yes. Yeah. Okay. There's efforts going forward on both committees. Sure. So. Okay. Okay. And the next meeting is Thursday, um, June 11th, and there is no workshop. We're going to start at 3 p.m. Okay. Any other new or old business? Settle down back there. <laughs> okay. Do I uh, hear a motion to adjourn? Oh. Mm -hmm. Second vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We are a third by Harold.